Welcome to another episode of Christian's Kitchen! And join me today as I cook another dish. A very easy dish that I'm gonna teach you. So for today, I decided to do an all English vlog. Because I've been receiving requests that I should do a full English vlog. Or I should put subtitles. <laughs> I know most of you guys know how to cook fried rice, but for today, at least to make your experience a little different in eating fried rice, so we're gonna cook an Indonesian fried rice, also called as nasi goreng. It's more on the sweet side, a little bit spicy. It's very delicious and very easy to cook too. If you wanna learn how to cook this dish, just keep on watching. <sighs> Must bleed. <laughs> As I said earlier, this is gonna be an all English vlog because gusto ko lang pagrapan yung sarili ko. And trip ko lang bakit ba? <laughs> I'm gonna first chop up the the what they call this the garlic. English English pa kasi siya ko lang kaya si Nico. My English is very limited, you know. Nothing really fancy or anything. Or anything. Next, I'm gonna chop up some onions or shallots. So, same as the garlic, just a quick chop. Now, let's proceed with the veggies. With the veggies. So, I'm gonna use carrots. So, I like to just dice it. You can use any vegetable that you like. I'm gonna use green beans as well. There you go. Because why not? Chop it to smaller pieces. Our veggies are ready. Now we're gonna make the sauce. In the original, in the original, in the original, in the original recipe, in the in the original recipe. In the original Indonesian recipe, they use this special soy sauce. It's called ketchup manis. It's a dark sweet soy sauce with molasses flavor. I could describe it as a... If you put soy sauce with caramelized sugar, if that makes sense. So if you've been watching my vlogs, you know that I always improvise with the ingredients I have at home. And since we don't have that kind of soy sauce, the ketchup manis, we're just gonna make something else. So I have here oyster sauce. I think it's about 3 tablespoons. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of fish sauce. Soy sauce. And to make it sweet like the dark soy sauce, I'm just gonna put brown sugar instead. I know in one of my vlogs I mentioned that I don't eat rice, but today we're gonna cheat. On this fried rice, I'm gonna use half brown rice and half ayuda rice. Or the rice we've been getting from our local government. We all know that it's best to use. Ang tawag sa bahaw? Leftover rice. Oh, there you go. Leftover rice. It's better to use leftover rice when you're doing fried rice. So let's start frying the fried rice. For our protein today, I'm gonna use pork. I already cut it into strips and then it's been marinating with salt and pepper. So I'm gonna start with frying the pork. So make sure your oil is hot. I like to cook my protein first and give it a little browning. It would intensify the pork flavor and give it more texture. So once the pork turns golden brown, I'm gonna start sauteing the garlic and onions. 
And just a little bit after, I'm gonna put the rest of the vegetables. Next step, we're gonna put one of the secret ingredients. It's the shrimp paste. Today, I'm gonna use a Filipino shrimp paste or what we call bagoong, bagoong alamang. But if you have the Indonesian one, use it. I know it smells like <laughs> But we Asians, we love our shrimp paste, right? So it's time to put the rice. Now we're gonna put the sauce. So the fried rice is done, and to complete the Indonesian experience, I made my version of the sambal. So basically, I just chopped up some tomatoes, onions, and chilies. with sugar and season it with salt and chili powder. I also added tamarind paste. So I just let it evaporate until it turned into a jam-like consistency. Nasi goreng or the Indonesian fried rice is usually served with fried egg on the side. And then I just topped it up with some fried onions that I cooked a while ago. And we're done! That's the Indonesian fried rice. It's time to try our fried rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything goes well together. The sambal that I made, I can really taste the tamarind flavor mixed with the tomatoes and mixed with the spicy flavor. So there you have it, Mama Pam Pam. Try, try it then. Try cooking this dish. Let me know in the comments if I should do more English vlogs. Or, or not. If you want more videos like this, if you want more recipes like this, follow na, subscribe na. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out kay Arnel Almadrones. Ang sasarap ng luto mo. I tried several dishes na gawa mo and pasalo sa panlasa ko. Keep on cooking, pops. Shout out kay Josh Sangalang. I've been following and watching all your vlogs. So happy to see the real you. Pa shout out po. Shout out kay Eugene Lorente. Isa na naman nakakagutom na episode. Super sarap nyan idol. Sa wakas may natutunan na naman ako. 
ingat po kayo palagi. God bless from Davao City. Mga kapampam sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout, comments lang kayo sa mga videos ko and use the hashtag kapampam pa-shoutout.